Hey guys, I just wanted to share this little method I discovered of um, easy paramotor netting. So, I don't know if you can see on my frame I have little hooks. So for me it's really easy to slip the rope, or I mean the, the cord on, onto those hooks. Um, you can do it other ways I'm sure, uh, I just haven't thought about it much. <clears throat> but anyway, so first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to set up one line as a perimeter. And I'm going to tie it on, not necessarily super tight. Is he so it has a little bit of play on it? Something like that. And on one end, I'm doing a, sort of a kind of like a you would tie your shoes knot, so it's easy to release. And then here's a cool trick. So I'm gonna get about. I don't know, that kind of length. What's cool about this method is um, if you miscalculate how much material you need, uh, all you gotta do is add more. Um, and you can actually weave it in rather than um, having to start all over again or have ugly knots or anything like that. Anyway, so the idea is I'm gonna have these vertical um, double strings that will weave into each other. So I'm gonna make a few. Hold on. Alright, so here's the next step. I'm gonna take my double, I'm gonna take my string, fold it in half, I'm gonna take the loop, I'm gonna put the loop in the middle between the two hooks, like that, and I'm gonna pull the two ends through it. Super easy. And again. And it doesn't matter which way you go with the loop. But I like to stay consistent so it looks good. All right, now, just to kind of keep things even, I'm gonna start from the center. And I'm gonna take the two lines that go towards each other, kind of. And this is really easy. I just do a regular knot. I'm sure there's a better knot you can use for this. So I did one knot. Oh. And with the paracord, things don't slide around as much, which is nice. Anyway, one knot. Pinch it. No, they're not. Uh, now, oops. the thing about having two knots, I noticed, two knots work, but two knots, when you start pulling on one of the ends, uh, the knot will actually, like, it's, it will stay tight, but it will, like, roll around towards one or the other. So I just like to do three knots. Like I said, I'm sure there's a better knot. So I'm going to move over one, do the same thing. Now because I have the hook in the middle, I just use the hook for alignment. Can you see this? Yeah. I, I just use the hook for alignment of the knot. And then that way I don't need to use any form of a gauge and the net in the end is all nice and even and has the same size little what are the diamonds yeah. 
three nuts. And you can kind of guess where this is going to go. Next row, it would be like this. It's so I started uh, between the hooks, and then I'm, I went parallel with the hooks, and now I'm going to go between the hooks again. Same thing. So the edge could definitely use probably a better method of sorts. But I just kind of go make a triangle. And what I do is I go first of all underneath and then through the triangle. And then I go underneath the bottom string and then through the loop to make a knot. And just another knot. Yeah, I don't like this too much because it kind of slides around. I suppose it's not that big of a deal. Oh, I did the not the wrong way. Anyway, and then from here, just make the next diamond. I'm just pulling on this stuff to see what it will look like when it's under tension. Yep. Two, can't remember if I did three. Three. Now one other really, really cool thing about this is because I'm following the hook um, and I'm working towards the center, the diamonds will naturally start to get smaller towards the center. So they'll start out big and then get smaller, <clears throat> just by the just because of the fact that I have a circle here with points along the rim, and so it makes a really clean net. And then um, you know, if I went all the way around and I did that all the way around, then it would be a nice even net with no gaps, no weird stuff. And so I think it was really good. I don't know if you can see that. All right, easy net. Let me show you what I'm working on. All right, so now here's the coolest part about this technique. So I was working on this net and I ran out of material. I ran out of micro paracord. And right, what I, what I did is I did a triple knot like I did everywhere else. And then I cut it off and then I, you know, use the lighter to 
melt the ends so it doesn't unravel. So guess what you do? Double string like we started with. Put it over the knot. Pull it through. And it just hugs right over that knot. Bam! So now I'll just do the same thing for the next couple hours. Cool. Hope you enjoyed it. Alright, so just one last trick. How do you make a whole bunch of even strings? Alright, so I know I need, well, I just want this length. So I just have my little spool of micro paracord on some sort of a thing that lets it spin really. Measure the length. Measure the length. And then, boo, into the shot I go, I just trim the double loops. And then I reach in my pocket, grab my amazing pink lighter, and without singeing the other pieces, I melt the ends so they don't unravel. That's it.